In this short video, I'm going to show you real quick how to install Fabric and Fabric Mods for Minecraft 1.19. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started installing Fabric and Fabric Mods for Minecraft 1.19. So there will be a link down below in the description to this website right here where you'll find a step-by-step -step written tutorial with all the links that you're going to need. But in this tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to do everything yourself. So come over to your desktop, wherever your Minecraft launcher is, click it and open it. Now, once you're here, select the latest release, which is 1.19 and then click play. This will make sure Minecraft 1.19 is installed to your PC. There you go, you've just made it to the main menu of Minecraft 1.19. If it says Minecraft 1.19 here, you can just click quit game and now we can proceed to installing fabric in fabric mods. Please hit that subscribe button since most of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. And then without any further ado, here's how to install fabric for 1.19. So the first thing we're gonna need obviously is fabric mod loader. So just do a quick Google search and come over to fabricmc.net. Here you want to click download here, click download for Windows if you're on Windows and click download universal jar if you're not on Windows. This one is by far the easiest to install, just click download for Windows if you are on Windows. You got this exe right here which is a fabric installer and just click that one to open it. As you can see it will automatically select the latest version which is 1.19 as of recording this video. All you gotta make sure it says is create profile. So as long as this box is checked and it says ready to install, you can just go ahead and click install. This should only take a few seconds. Then you click okay once it says successfully installed. Now you can close the installer. We need to download one more thing before we can get to installing the mods because some mods require fabric API, which you can see over here. Click Fabric API. This will take you to Curse Forge. And what you want to do is download the latest one for Minecraft 1.19 right here. All you got to do is click this download file button right here. And then your download will start automatically within five seconds. There you go. That's the first of the mod files that we're going to need. Now, technically, Fabric API is not a mod, but it will have to be installed as if it were a mod. So come back here and now you can look for your favorite mod. So the one I'm gonna download is Zero's Minimap, which you can also find over on mcmodspot.com. And then if you scroll down, you can see that it says here, download Zero's Minimap from 1.18.2. That is because this hasn't even been updated, but it will very soon. Click download here, and this will only show you the top download. So if you scroll down a little further, you can see that it has Fabric 1.19 over here already. And all you gotta do is click download file. Don't click one of the Forge ones because those ones will not work with Fabric Mod Loader. So just click download file over here. Once again, wait five seconds and this will download your mod. So I'm also going to drag this file over to my desktop because I'm gonna need it right now. What we're gonna do is go into the Minecraft files on your PC, which are quite hard to find. And to go there, you have to go into your search bar, type in percent app data percent, hit enter. This will show you a couple of folders and you need to go to .minecraft and if you've never installed mods before you won't have a mods folder. If you did ever use mods before then get rid of those files because they will conflict. So either way if you didn't have a mods folder yet just right click somewhere, hover a new and click folder to create a new folder called mods lowercase. Just like that and click this folder. Now drag in the fabric API and Zero's minimap right here. These are executable jar files. Even if they have different icons, that doesn't matter for now. All we gotta do now is close this window, launch Minecraft. As you can see, it has selected the fabric loader that we just installed automatically. So if you come over here, you can still select the latest release if you want, but you can also switch over to the new fabric loader 1.19, which is really cool because all you gotta do now is click play. And this will show you a little warning that you need to read. And if you do understand the risks, you can take this box and click play. Here we are once again in Minecraft 1.19, but as you can now see in the bottom left corner, it says Minecraft 1.19 slash fabric modded. So if I hop into a single player world, which I'm gonna create right now, I will be able to show you that we have successfully installed fabric with Zero's minimap. And would you look at that, as you can see in the top left corner, and if I press Z on the keyboard, you can see a zoomed version. Look at that. We have just installed a mod for Fabric 1.19. Like I said, you can use and repeat this process 
for any mod you want as long as it is compatible with 1.19 and Fabric Mod Loader. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install Fabric and Fabric Mods for Minecraft 1.19. If you enjoyed this video and it was actually helpful and you want other people on YouTube to know that they should watch this video if they want to install Fabric for 1.19 as well, then be sure to give this one a thumbs up. That really does help. And subscribe to the channel because like I said in the intro, most of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to my channel yet. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.